evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Steam Powered Giraffe You'll Miss Special Show. You're all looking festive tonight. Hello. Seems like a rather large audience. There must be at least two people in here. Is that on the account of the Acopolix? Oh yeah, definitely. Look at that guy, he's jolly. He's got a care for a nose. And look at his fruity right. wife. Uh, that's, that's like an inflatable snowman thing. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sir. Well, I guess the minds were wrong because uh, we're still here. And we really are certainly glad that we could finally make it back to San Diego, our hometown. We are so glad that we are super excited. Excited? Yes, Hatchworth, yes. We, we are very excited. That's the word. For those of you who don't already know us, we are Steam Powered Giraffe. Singing musical automatons. Hey, I know those guys. You should. It's us. Correct. We are Steam Power Giraffe. The singing musical automatons. Hey, I know those guys. You should. It's us. Correct. We are Steam Power Giraffe. The singing musical automatons. Hey, I know those guys. You should. It's us. Correct. And uh, my name's The Spine. You should. It's this guy. Right. Well, my name is The Spine, and I was built with a titanium alloy spine. It's an artist's rendition of a, of, a, of a spine that's like on the back of the vest, but you get the idea. Oh, that's my, that must be why they call you the spy. Oh, yep, uh, it, uh, it's my backstory. Oh. oh! You see what he did there? I love me some back jokes. Don't get me started on those back jokes. I've got so many back jokes that my back is killing me from carrying them back and forth all day long. I like back jokes. But it's unfortunate, fellas, that the invertebrates in the audience won't get these back jokes. Oh, that's right, because they don't have, they won't, they won't have backbones. True. They'll need to change the course of their evolution by going back in time. <laughs> then maybe I'll let them into the back of my home entertainment center. We'll watch a back's worth of movies. Oh. Back to the Future 1. Oh. How Stella got her groove back. That's oh. a good one. Back to the Future Part 2. Backdraft. Oh, back to the Future Part 3. Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh. And you can feed them some baby back rails. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Let's get well. back to business. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was funny too. Well, anyway, we were built back in 1896. You know, back when it was still illegal for women to read and write, and all the men dressed like Mr. Peanut. We like priceless antiques, and the most antique and priceless of them all is, is myself. And my name is a rabbit, like the meat. Oh, uh, yes, like a hostile viper. Is it tight? <laughs> yes, like the meat. Hatchworth. What is your name? What meat are you named after? Well, my name is not actually named after a name of a name of a meat product. Uh, it is simply Hatchworth. Oh. My friends call me Hatchy. And my father called me Hatchworthless. Oh. Oh. Well, there, there. Hatchy, you. you know you never had a you. father. You. Oh. <laughs> you are never real. Well, it's... Uh, Patrick, let me stop you there before you spiral into a robotic depression that he is in robot therapy won't help with. Patrick, I... I must ask you a question. I've never heard that Why, why does a robot need, uh, glasses? Rabbit, check this out. I already knew you were going to ask me that because these glasses allow me to see into the future. Ooh. Future coming at me. Uh, no, that's not the case. Uh, Hatchworth, actually, uh, you have glasses because you have bad eyes. Oh, uh, I guess that makes more sense. Remember that one time he, he got me that bear claw, but I asked for like the donut bear claw? He gave me an actual bear claw. He didn't read the label. Label, you know, it said, uh, 
Actual bad clock. Not a joke. <laughs> I really can't believe you. So yeah, Frank, Frankfurter's, uh, 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 Frankfurter's and okay. bear clocks. Okay, you know what? Let me tell you something. There was a test of your memory modules, and you both passed with flying colors. Hmm? Oh. Congratulations, the spy. We really, really pulled through, didn't we? Yeah, you know, I, I think uh, I think that's what we do. You know, we, we bring our A game, and uh, it's uh, it's just the way things happen. It's just, uh, it's how we do it. <laughs> What are you doing? Is this Yuma's special going to be any kind of grand? It's going to need a super Yuma's fire in this here fireplace. Uh, That's good thinking. I'm going to go get the chestnuts for a roast and you you finish hanging the socks for soup and... Wait a minute. We don't have, have a fireplace in this venue. The fire code won't allow for an indoor fire. That's fine. Is it true that the fire code will not allow for an indoor fire? Well, that's true, Hatchworth. You shouldn't do that. Trust me on this, Hatchworth, it's common knowledge. Despite, is it true that it is common knowledge? Well, yes, Hatchworth, it is. You don't have to validate everything I say with the spine, Hatchworth. Despite, is it true that I don't have to validate everything I say? <laughs> well, yes, that's true as well, Hatchworth, though I do appreciate you uh, asking me because I am sort of the expert on that kind of thing. Well, if I can't have a grand old Yulmas fire, can I at least get a good old-fashioned Yulmas story? Oh, you're asking me now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that sounded a little forced. <laughs> Spike, can we have an old-fashioned humor story? Yes, I believe that would be agreeable, fellas. <laughs> I know the perfect one. <laughs> 